Syrian President Bashar al-Assad made a surprise visit to Eastern Ghouta, meeting with Syrian army units on the front lines there. It was his first visit to the region in years. During his visit, the Syrian president told his troops that every meter you gain here changes the political landscape of the world. And nearly 600 meters from where Assad was standing, the Syrian army pressed ahead with the offensive, taking the town of Saqba. A senior military source tells CGTN that the army now controls over 70% of the rebel areas and that over 25,000 civilians have crossed into government-controlled parts of the country in the past few days. Meanwhile, the United Nations says that the situation of civilians still trapped inside Ghouta is dire. The United Nations estimated the population of Yusin Ghouta at 400,000 persons when the military offensive began back in February. In the meantime, the Syrian State TV reported that Damascus has given an ultimatum and a deadline for rebels in one of the three zones to surrender and evacuate their zone by 3 p.m. local time on Sunday. But after the deadline has passed, the Syrian government sources are telling CGTN that there is still room for talking. Another rebel faction says they are negotiating with the United Nations for a ceasefire. This rebel faction is known as Failaq al-Rahman. They control the southern part of Eastern Ghouta, which is the closest part of the rebel-held enclave to the Syrian capital, Damascus. Rebels say leaving and surrendering is not an option. But a senior military source tells CGTN that the only scenario to end the situation in Eastern Ghouta is a full departure for rebels out of Ghouta. Allah Ibrahim, CGTN. Damascus.